isn't God great? He has given me a home, friends and family, a car, cupboards full of food, shelves full of books, birthdays, more shelves full of movies, a wardrobe full of clothes, lots of art supplies, a sense of humor, arms and legs, this spinny chair, a television, just enough glitter, beautiful sunshine, internet, and so much more. We have such a generous God. He just loves to give us good things. But you know, it's strange. Even though the Bible tells us that every good thing we have in this world is a gift from God, it can still be so easy to forget that and start arguing over what's mine and what's yours instead of giving and sharing what God has given us. I wonder how many times recently you've said, that's my chair, or heard someone say, it's my turn, or even milk, but no sugar, please. My mug is the one with the giraffe on. It's no wonder I have cupboards full of more food than I need, and some people go to bed hungry. But this is not how God wants it to be. In the Old Testament, a man named Moses taught the people of God to live differently. Back then, people grew their own food in fields. They worked hard planting and looking after their crops. So when it came to harvest time, you would expect them to pull up every last bit of grain and every last bunch of grapes and keep whatever they could use and sell the rest for a nice profit. But God had a better idea. He told Moses to tell the people, you harvest your crops on your land, but do not harvest all the way to the corners of your fields. If grain falls on the ground, don't gather it up. Don't pick all the grapes in your vineyards and don't pick up the grapes that fall to the ground. You must leave those things for poor people. You must also leave them for people traveling through your country. I am the Lord your God. That's Leviticus chapter 19 verses 9 to 10. Wow, just imagine if we lived like that today. That's like if supermarkets had one aisle where nothing had a price tag and people could just take food if they couldn't afford it. It's hard to imagine a world where everybody shared and no one was in need. But every time we say, you can have it, or no, no, after you, we get a little bit closer to that world. So I'm setting myself two challenges this week, and you're welcome to join me in this if you like. Firstly, I'm going to make a list of things that God has given me and say, thank you. And secondly, I'm going to look for opportunities to share what God has given me. It could be as simple as saying, you can have that last chocolate, or it's okay, I'll sit somewhere else, or you can have the next go and I'll wait a bit longer. Let's be generous as God is generous.